What's up guys, it's Ekracoon back with another video and in this video we're going to be taking a look at what's in my camera bag. I have actually been doing photography for quite a while now and if you don't follow my photography Instagram already uh, there's a link to it in the description below but basically I've been doing photography for a fair few years and about a year ago I got my camera bag here before that I was using some rubbish little camera thing but anyway I got the camera bag it's a cheap one off eBay because that's all I really had the money for and so the actual durability of it is great I haven't had any issues with that and there is a, actually a review of the actual camera bag itself but to sum it up this camera bag is quite good for, for $26 it's got a few compartments here and it's it's pretty good and you can also fit a laptop in it so that's also nice so here is basically how how I have it set up right now up the top right here is where the Canon 70D would go but I'm actually filming on it right now but it goes about here and then you've got different compartments around here for different lenses and stuff. So I'm going to be taking out each and everything and uh, telling you what it is and uh, what I use it for. So here I have a 28 to 70 millimeter lens which I got for about $35 off eBay. It's a vintage lens, no autofocus. Uh, that's exactly what it looks like. It's at f4 and it's pretty decent. It's it's a great versatile lens So it's good to use for different things like it's wide and it's pretty close up at the same time So that's nice and it was also great for the price So that's why I got this one and I still use it quite often But it's not my like my most popularly used lens It's just one I have in there and it's great to use sometimes and also I like that it's fully constructed out of metal so it feels very solid it's just I did have an issue with this lens that it would like some of the zooming wouldn't work it would get stuck at some point so I had to pull it apart and fix that all up which is a bit of a um, annoyance but it's not too big of a deal and I'm very happy with this lens it's very durable and the brand of it is a Tekina and it's a PK mount and I have a PK to EF mount adapter for all my lenses because basically three three of my lenses are PK mounts so they're all vintage and so yeah this is the first one right here it's a great lens and then over here I do have a proper Canon brand lens it's a 90 to 300 millimeter and it's at f 4.5 to f 5.6 and this lens is actually very good actually um it's not a very low aperture so it's very poor in low light especially with a Canon 70D but it's actually great for daytime because it has a very good compression so basically what compression is is if you put it to like 300 millimeters then the background will get blurred a lot more it'll look a lot more blurred compared to a wider angle lens and that's what I really like about this it has a fantastic compression the actual sharpness of the images are pretty decent um, but there's no real complaints here. It's a pretty cheap lens. I got this one for about 70 bucks or whatever. It's a decent lens. Oh yeah, I forgot to mention that this lens has a lot of uh, color fringing, which is something that I don't like about it. And if it didn't have color fringing as much as it does, then I would use it a lot more often. Over here, I just have the kit lens, the 18 to 55 from Canon. It's a f3.5 to f5.6. And the reason I use have this in here is just if I want some wide angle shots because I don't really Really have a very wide angle lens so this 18 millimeter um, well I use it at 18 and that's basically where I get all my wide shots another lens which is actually meant to be here it's just I'm filming with it right now and it is the Hainmex 28 millimeter f 2.8 it's a fantastic lens it's probably the most versatile lens I have or second most versatile lens just because it's wide and it's f 2.8 so it lets in quite a lot of light and it blows the background out quite nicely so it it is a great lens it's great for wide angle and also you can go close up nicely with it it's not it doesn't have very much macro to it uh, so you can't really go too close but I do like that it has uh, a lower f-stop than um, the 28 to 70 which I have and this lens is what I mainly use for shooting all my videos because it is a wider angle and it's f 2.8 so it blurs all the background nicely so it, it makes the uh, the video look a bit more professional in my opinion and then 
Over here we've got a 50mm f1.9. This thing is made out of plastic. 28mm Hainmex is metal while this thing is plastic. This is like my only plastic vintage lens. But it is a fantastic lens. This is probably the most versatile lens I have just because it is fantastic for basically anything. The only thing it's not good at is um, wide angles but if you have a full frame camera then this will be fantastic uh, for, for wide, well, wider angle as well and it's also very good for low light since you can open that aperture very nicely and also not to mention the fact that it's tiny so you can put it on a smaller lighter camera like the Canon 1200D which is what I have I don't really use it very much but I could put it on that and since that's a very small camera and light both of these together will make it a very nice uh, small package but this lens is fantastic and I definitely recommend picking up a 50mm that is um, below f2 and that is all my lenses I have as of now so let's move on to the other things I have in the bag because I do have a few other things so I always carry around this camera here which is is what I started my channel with actually it's the Sony Cybershot and it's 16.1 megapixels I don't really know what like what the model is and all that it's a pretty good point and shoot it's very sharp and it's good for photos for videos it only shoots 720p so it is what I started with my my channel out and well it was great for the start and I just keep it in here you know just in case you never know when you could you might want to use a point and shoot or something so this is a fantastic camera but it wouldn't I wouldn't really recommend it anymore another thing I always carry around is this shotgun microphone it's a bit dusty and my camera bags a bit dusty in general but it's a fantastic um, shotgun microphone uh, it's not the, that great with a Canon camera because the preamps are awful so it's a bit fuzzy but the actual sound quality of it is great. It's made in Japan and it was only five bucks. I got it from a um, recycling shop. So they were gonna uh, recycle it, but I was able to pick, get it up. And the thing that I really, really like about this uh, microphone is the fact that you can extend it like this so you can get closer to the subject. And this is actually very, very useful because I've noticed when I had it further away, the sound quality wouldn't be as good. But when I moved it to be closer, the sound quality was way better so that is the, a very good thing just notice my lights got dimmer so sorry about that but anyway so this is the microphone right here it's plastic but it's good just for vlogging even though I don't do it but like just for shoots that I don't bring the Rode NT G2 and I have some spare like camera caps and stuff like that and of course I have the good old SD cards here at the moment I've only got two of them but I have more, just my brother's using them. Then just over here in this pocket here, I just have some earbuds and a USB extension cable for when I'm editing stuff on the go. And speaking of editing stuff on the go, the laptop I use for editing stuff on the go, of course, would be the MacBook Pro 2012 unibody. It's not in the camera bag at the moment because it's in my room, but basically there's a pocket right here and you can fit stuff it's very nice I really like that but that is about all I have in my camera bag hope you guys did enjoy this video it was quite a long one but hopefully you stayed to the end if you did leave a comment below or just tell me what you would want to see in another video but anyway hope you guys did enjoy the video if you did smash the like button if you didn't smash the dislike button remember to subscribe and I'll see you guys in the next video